it's great to be back. I don't know how many of you here were here two years ago, but I was here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, it was a really fun. It was a really fun afternoon. I don't remember much about it. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, but somebody did remind me of a gentleman named Simon. Yeah. So, yeah. There he is. There he is. Uh, and still not a fish, I see. There you go. What was that? What was that, Simon? No idea what he said, but I agree. <laughs> I agree, you're not a fish. Uh, <laughs> other than that, I, I honestly, I, I don't remember much. One thing that I do remember and was immediately reminded of was how colorful your room is when you get in here. Uh, you guys really dress up. I mean, you take the Christmas thing to a whole another level, you know? You send out memos saying, hey, this is gonna be a contest. If you have a shirt with lights on it, you may want to wear that. <laughs> or if you celebrate something that's not Christmas, you want to wear a black and yellow shirt. That's, <laughs> that's also acceptable. Did, uh, did anybody, was there anything else from a couple years ago that I should, that I should know move, before moving forward? Somebody had a big flashy thing, I remember that. I remember <laughs> That could have been anybody. Did you point at that guy in the suit there? Was that him? This year he was like, I'm not going, I'm not, I'm not putting that on. Again, no, wearing a suit. And there's one of the judges. The judges were amazing. I've never seen a, cost, uh, a contest before where judges had to be told not to touch the participants. <laughs> It's a sweater competition, too. I mean, you just need to look at the sweater. This guy's getting up there. It's a nice sweater, good thread count. Good thread count in that sweater. <laughs> My favorite part of that whole thing was just how it was, there was like 12 people or something on stage. And when it got whittled down to the top four, was it top four, top five? It was, <laughs> it was like so clear. Uh, <laughs> the guy glowing is the guy, the guy lighting the room, he's probably gonna win. Because if Rudolph goes down this year, Nick can step in, no problem. You know what I mean? Rudolph pulls a hammy, Nick shows up, hey, check it out, I brought extra batteries just in case. <laughs> I'm plugged in, let's get out of here. Let's do this. <laughs> oh man. Nice, uh, nice balloon. The, the decoration committee went all out of here. Right? Just, just went to the dollar store and got all. Can, I, can we have all the balloons that you have, please? <laughs> they don't even, they're nothing Christmassy about it. You just use those at every party that you have. <laughs> Well, what should we get her? Just say celebrate. <laughs> Just make it say celebrate. We celebrate a lot of things, okay? We don't need to be going to the dollar store every time there's a part of Christmas, Easter, Halloween, I don't care. We're celebrating all of them. Just buy maybe nine, ten balloons that say celebrate and we'll stick them in each corner. Merry Christmas. Or whatever. <laughs> Oh, I, one thing I do love about you guys, and I think I told you this last time, was that you you put pictures of last year on the board, on the on the screen, and and look to see how you've all aged over a, a year. Some people are looking at those like, oh my god, what did I do this year? Other people are like, yeah, damn right, yeah, I look good, look at this. Other people are just like, I can't wait to judge that contest so I can touch some of these sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the, the three people that were supposed to be at your table? Were they fired just before the Christmas party? <laughs> Earlier today, they showed up at the hotel. I'm just like, but I wore a Christmas movie. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. And I have three empty chairs to share. Is that what happened? <laughs> Nobody wants to talk? All right. Sir, how'd you end up being the only guy at the table? What's that? I was lucky. You're lucky? All right, sir. Good for you. What is your name, my friend? What is it? stare at the stage today? Are you staring at this chair and just waiting for it to fill? This person left, you don't know where they are. You're getting upset. What's that? You know Wormel over there? You know, speak the same language a little bit. How are you, sir? You look good. It's a very nice suit. Is that your best suit? Yeah. Yes, it is. You knew you were coming to the Christmas party. You knew you were going to be front row. You knew you were going to be at table two. Next year, guess what? Because of that suit, table one. <laughs> Almost, eh? If you had a dress like a Pittsburgh Steeler, you could have... You're still the number one seat over there. <laughs> but he could have done like Cal. He's not even supposed to be at that table. There's, there was no chair there. He grabbed that and put it there. <laughs> Screw it. I'm at table one now. I wore my best suit also. It's very nice. What's your name, sir? Dave. Dave. That's good. <laughs> I needed that, Dave. I really did. <laughs> I'm glad I came to you. Dave, if I may say, and this may be the suit, maybe the haircut, maybe the whole package, but you look very important. <laughs> oh, that made you turn around. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about my importance. Well, <laughs> let me face you head on, uh, as any important gentleman would do. <laughs> Am I right, Dave? Are you are you important? My mother. Your mother thinks so. <laughs> she here? No. Was that her seat? Yeah. That's nice. What do you do, Dave? What's your job? <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Like of everything? 
I'm the president. Do you know how many presidents there are, Dave? A lot of presidents out there. That is a bold statement. I like that. What are you? I am the president. Of? Mm -hmm. Did you see the suit? Did you see the suit? President. Nice, so you're the president of the, of the, this organization, correct? Very nice. Well, good for you. Congratulations. How long have you been the president? About a year and a half. About a year and a half, so you're, you're fairly new into it. Now, do you have terms? Are you only allowed to go four years, then? Do they, do they vote, or is it a... Is it somebody gives you the job, or is it based on a, Suits. How's it? <laughs> I got enough suits to be at this job four and a half years. Let's get cracking. But it's not. You're not. You're not voted in. No, no, no. You are. You are hired. Somebody sends in, and they pay you money to do the job, and then they get the suits. That's beautiful. What happens there? Very nice. Now, what did you do before you were the president? You were a, an executive for the whole province. <laughs> Senior executive. Senior executive for an entire province. And they said, if that guy can ex executively over, I don't know what you did. Uh, <laughs> but if that guy can do that for a whole province, he can damn sure be the president. Yeah, that That's great. Which one do you like better so far, Dave? <laughs> this one. Did, did you know the guy in the black and the yellow? I know of him. <laughs> yeah, there's rumors around the office. <laughs> It'd be amazing if he showed up for like another event in a Christmas sweater. <laughs> Just to mess with people. Well, that's great, Dave. I'm glad you're. I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad you seem to be doing a good job. Did you oversee the purchase of the balloons? At all? <laughs> Was that your call? Because you know what, Dave, that signals a good, solid president. A guy comes into a board meeting and says, "Listen, last year on Christmas alone, we spent over twelve dollars." <laughs> On our balloons. Does anybody know this? I was looking at the I was looking at the budgets here. Okay. Now, when I ran the entire province by myself, we used to cut costs like this. So here's what I'm suggesting. I suggest that we switch all the balloons to one phrase that signals everything across the board we could possibly be doing. That way, it's not $12 per party. It's $12 a year. Look forward to your votes in three and a half years. On the other side, sir, you went with just a regular zip-up sweater today. No suit, no Christmas sweater, just a zip right up and now you're warm. But you also got the little, you got a, a button-up shirt underneath, just in case anybody had a problem with it. And said, hey, did you know there's a bit of a dress code today? And you go, hey, hold on. <laughs> and now you're fashionable, right? You're warm, because you're smart. You don't want to go out there, it's a little nipply out today. But you also want to be fashionable. You don't want Dave going, hey, if I'm wearing a suit to this, you can at least put on a button up. <laughs> sure did, Dave. Got both. If you're looking for a vice president, this guy seems pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> what is your name, sir? Rob. Rob. Yes. And what, what's your job, Rob? Uh, See what I did there? I just want to run that. What's that? Procurement. You're a procurement consultant. What is that, Rob? Uh, I didn't buy the balloon. Okay. That's fantastic, Rob. We know what
what you did not do. <laughs> what is the, what is procurement consultant mean? I help the highest buy things. <laughs> we procure goods and services for the betterment of all mankind. <laughs> wow, you must be a great salesman. It's good to be vice president. Yes. So hold on a second. You are you are in charge of of purchasing things, yet you are not the one who purchased the balloons. You did not procure the balloons. Okay, that was not in your. That did not fall under your jurisdiction. That's correct. Okay, so you're a procurement consultant, and that's very nice. And, and this lady is this your wife here? Yeah. What is your wife? Three years. Why is that hilarious? <laughs> you guys are not married, are you? No, that was good though, you went with it. I procured that you were married. <laughs> They're not quite sure on the meaning of procured yet, but I'm just gonna throw it into a few sentences to see what, what happens. If you need to procure a vice president though, I know a guy. He'll consult with everybody. Rob? Yeah. It's Rob, right? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. How long have you been the thing that you are? <laughs> Pro procurement. Uh, procurement. The uh, procurement guy. For about eight, eight years, I guess. Eight years. Yeah. Nice. Do you, do you love your job? Love it. You love it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You kind of have to stay that president. It's okay. <laughs> what else are you going to say, right? That's very nice. Sir, back there, are you all right? You're, you got your... I know it was a big meal you just ate, sir. I get it. Sitting right here, you're a little, you're a little top heavy right now. I got gotcha. you. You want to just take a nap? I promise, sir. I will wrap this up for you immediately. You can get back to your office, shut the blinds, take a little Z. You know what I mean? Nobody's gonna tell the president the way you did. Tell him you're working. How are you, sir? I'm sorry. You good? What's your name, my friend? Paolo. Paolo? Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's your real name? For real, eh? Paolo. Paolo, nice. You you should you should say it with more of like a more like a raspiness in your voice. I get you a lot of chicks. <laughs> huh? You go out, you know, somebody comes in and oh. <laughs> Tell you what to do or not to do, Paolo. I'm just... <laughs> It'll help you in business too, okay? If you're, if you're married, what do you? Are you a procurement consultant? No. What do you do? I work with IT. You work with IT. Yeah. yeah. You don't do it. You just work with them. <laughs> you just stand there and oversee things. Just come in. Good work. And I'm gone. Okay. So what's your what's your job? What do what do you what do you do? You're a manager of architectures, standards, standards and, quality and quality assurance. Yeah, Please. massive plate full of stuff there. <laughs> That's like three people's jobs you're doing. That's fantastic. What's that? Yeah, keep going. Oh, now you're pretty excited about it, makes sense. <laughs> I'll talk to the president, see if he can move some things around here. But I think in business and in life, Paolo, you, whenever somebody asks you your name, you gotta put you gotta put a little raspiness in that voice and just maybe shake your head a little bit, you know? <laughs> you got a little bit of hair there, you can just get a little just a little breeze through it. Just you know what I mean? Just something like that. And just somebody goes, Hey, who are you? You just go, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody can come in and request you. Would you like an architecture? <laughs> Would you like a standards? <laughs> Would you like the quality assurance? 
you have the kind of assurance of quality. <laughs> I'm going to take you to the procurement consultant. <laughs> I actually got Jamaican there at the end for some reason. But I don't know why, but if you can throw that in and nobody notices, Paolo, why not? <laughs> oh, man. Good for you. You're, you're a great man, Pablo. Doing fantastic things out there with the quality and the standards. And the architecture, of course. Yeah, it's the first one, how did I forget? Very nice. Wilmar, how are you? Wilmar, what? Buddy, how are you? Doing okay over there? Yeah. This is, uh, this is very, let's get some of that water. That was nice. Did she make you pour that? Did she? Really, eh? Hey? Well, what was that? Was that a cracking of a whip? Was that, that's what she did to you? And you knew instinctually that meant get me water? That's quite a little situation you guys got going on. And you had no idea you were facing me the whole time. This is going on right behind your back. The whole time this way just gets a little parched. <laughs> and then, uh, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very nice, good for you. What's, what's your name, man? Angela. Angela, nice. And you, do you work with Rob? Uh, not yet, but I'm sure I will at some point, yes. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here? <laughs> Did you just wander in? It's really good food, I know. There's empty chairs at all the tables nobody would notice. So you are a person looking to get a job with the company. And you know, the president was right there, and you knew the guy who procures things is over there. And you want to procure your way into the president's office to get a little bit of a job, right? There you go, that's very nice. Well, good for you. You're a real go-getter, Angel. I like that. That's great. Dave, I don't know if you're hiring right now, but this young lady here showed a lot of guts and a lot of gusto to come in here today, unannounced, uninvited, <laughs> sit down at the head table, crack the whip behind this lady's back to get water from a person she doesn't even know, all in the hopes that she can work for you, Dave. And, and uh, yeah, ma'am, do you, do you have a, a job here? Yes, you do. Very nice. What, what is your name? Uh, Penny. Penny. Nice. That's a nice name. Don't hear that every day. I mean, you do, but I, I don't. <laughs> it's very nice. And, and you, you work uh, who in human you? resources. In human resources. You're an HR person. Yes. Very nice. So you do all the resumes and stuff. Nice. That's who you want to talk to. <laughs> That's why you sat down there. Yeah? Locked in. Where's the HR table? <laughs> table three. Which, by the way, Dave, knowing that you're the president now, good for you for sitting yourself at table two. Not putting yourself on a pedestal. Wait for your mother over here. <laughs> Given the guy who didn't know it was Christmas, the seat there at table one. That's very nice. Angela, uh, I do know of a, of a job if you are looking for one next year. Uh, they are looking for somebody who can get some Christmas balloons. <laughs> so if you hand your resume to HR there, who got you a drink before, and you're all set. <laughs> nice. Guys, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's really exciting. It's really exciting to be here. So. You're too excited, sir. You're tipping things over. You all right? Got really pumped there, sir. You okay? You have no idea I'm talking to you. Do you? We, are, we are locked in and gazed into each other's eyes. And yet you have no idea that it is you. I understand. That's no problem. I get it. Sometimes I get excited and tip things as well. It happens. Um, but anyways, guys, very, uh, very exciting stuff. Ladies, welcome. Welcome back. 
everything go okay? <laughs> Urgent or? No, okay, everything's good. It's good. <laughs> Sir, how are you? You look very, very relaxed. A little bit of a clenched pose here. What's that? Good. Good? Can you do it in your show? Thank you, sir. It's a hell of an accent you have there. <laughs> is that German? No. No. What is it? Yes. It's a weird country. I've never heard of that. Where's that located? In the north. In the north. <laughs> okay. You're, you're from, yes, but it's in the north. Uh, I'm going to Russian? Yeah, okay. Nice. So you're, are you from, from Russia, born in Russia? Yes. Wow. What part? Northwest. What is it called? St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, which is in the northwest of Russia. Very nice. So how long have you been here now? For about 10 years. 10 years. Very nice. And you live more in the south of Ontario now. <laughs> which one do you prefer? That's great, sir. That's a lot of information I didn't ask about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care what you do in your personal time, sir. <laughs> do you like where you live? I'm flexible. I'm good. I'm flexible. I can flex like nobody. You wouldn't believe the flexibility. <clears throat> very nice. And what is your name, sir? Alex. Alex? Okay, very nice. And, and what's, what's your job here? I'm a senior analyst. Senior analyst? Yeah. You boss junior analysts around? <laughs> you tell them what to do? Yeah. What, what, what is it that you, uh, that you analyze? Uh, social economic data. Social economic data? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whew! You must be a riot. <laughs> Now, Alex, what does that mean exactly? Social economic data. Yeah. <laughs> two words? You need more time. I'll give you more than two words, Alex. That's fine. This isn't a game show. <laughs> In two words, describe social economic development. So let me, let me take a stab at what I think it means. You tell me how close I am, right? So we got three words. We got social economic development. Social is when people get together and they socialize. So you go out and you watch people at bars, okay? <laughs> economic means money. So you watch people socialize, you watch how much money they spend, and then you develop things. You probably go to him, get an architecture. <laughs> And then you develop things that are in the place where the social economics are high. And you go to people and you go, hey, let's build some stuff here because a lot of people go to bars and get drunk. <laughs> now, how close am I, Alex? Pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. good, I'm glad. Very nice. <laughs> That's a great job. Just standing around at bars. Excellent place to develop. <laughs> Good economics. Socially, not bad either. <laughs> and you're married? Yep. Yeah, and how long have you been married? For three years. For three years? Nice, it's relatively new. You still like your wife. <laughs> That's great. Have you, ever, have you ever been around people that don't? You ever been around somebody that they've been married a long time, they don't, they don't care for their partner anymore? Good answer. <laughs> you just suddenly told me to shut up. I appreciate that. I can't remember. Uh, no more of this. Nice. How many people in this room are married? By a round of applause. Nice. Who's been who's been married? Anybody been married like a really long time for a while? How long? Who's been married the longest? Anybody know? You? Yes? 
How long? 37 years? Wow, good for you. Wow. That's impressive. Anybody else? Can anybody beat that? Anybody got more? 37, wow. To the same person. <laughs> right? We're not talking like four marriages at all combined. No, we're talking one same guy for 37 years. That's impressive. That really is. Is he here? <laughs> Did you say God no? Okay. And that's why it works for 37 years. I'm going to go out. Oh, yeah, can I come? Mm -hmm. No, it's better this way. If you want me to come home, you'll stay here. That's beautiful. Oh, wow, ma'am, I just noticed how shiny you are over here. Well done. Yeah, that is, a, do you want to stand up for, uh, yeah, stand up. Take a, take a little twirl. Oh, wow. Ma'am, I gotta say, you owned that twirl. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you have been sitting there this whole time, just like, is anybody gonna notice this? I know I wore the sweater over, I don't wanna be flamboyant here, but if somebody notices, I am ready. <laughs> I mean, you got up, uh, I couldn't see below the table, but it looked to me like you did a one-toe uh, little twirl there. Just, just a couple of these around, showing it off, getting the guy behind you all excited. That was beautiful. <laughs> all right, sir, it happens. It's natural. That's fine. It's fine. It's a beautiful, beautiful shirt. And if there's ever a power outage, we are perfectly fine. Between you and Nick, are you kidding me? We can light a whole city if the things go bad. <laughs> That's terrific. Why, why were you not in the... In the Contest. I feel like you're the only one who could have rivaled Nick. And as we've already proven, it doesn't need to be Christmas colors for you to be in the contest. So the fact that it's just pure gold and sparkly wouldn't have eliminated you at all. So what happened? My friend talked you out of it. Your friend talked you out of it. Who's your friend? This this friend here? Ma'am, hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. What is your name? Amber. Amber. Very nice. And and your name? Jillian. Jillian. Very nice. Okay. Amber and Jillian. Now, Amber, I'm curious. Why? Why when Jillian told you I'm going to get up there on that stage, and I'm going to give Nick a run for his money? Why, Amber, did you say no? No, Jillian, I don't think it's a good idea. As your friend, I would sit here and put your sweater back on. And if anybody happens to notice, fine. You get up, you do a little twirl. There's no need for you to be on that stage. Amber, why did you do that? Oh, that's a very diplomatic answer. There you go. That was very nice. You should run for office. That was beautiful and correct. That is a very beautiful sweater, Jillian. Took a t-shirt. I don't know what it is. A, a dress brooch? Is it a, it's not a brooch? I don't, I don't know what a brooch is. A blouse. Thank you. That's, that's the correct term. It's a stunning blouse with multiple functions. That's fantastic. I feel like that is so nice that it has its own closet. At your home, somewhere, maybe downstairs or upstairs, you have a whole you have all your regular wardrobe, but then when you're feeling in that special mood and you want to razzle dazzle, you go to the special closet. It's in the dark. No need for lighting. You walk in, you have to unlock it with a special key. There's only two, you have one, you've hidden the other one somewhere nobody knows. You open it, you open the door, and a little angel song happens. And a light 
just one, hangs from above and reflects off of your whole chest. It's not on you yet, it's, it's on a chest. You have a fake chest, you know what I mean, that you put in the closet and that illuminates your street. And everybody on your street goes, Jillian's going out today. <laughs> That's how they know. <laughs> They're just watching TV. <laughs> Jillian's going out. Close the blinds. <laughs> oh, okay. well, that's great. Good for you. That's a beautiful. It is a beautiful blouse. This has been a lot of fun. This really has. Did you guys have fun today? It was a lot of fun. You know, I really, uh, I really uh, appreciate you guys having me back. A lot of times you only get to do a, a Christmas party or whatever once, and then uh, that you never see those people again. But I, I appreciate you guys having me back. And I also, I really appreciate you guys being such a good crowd, because you really are. You're, you're very fun uh, people, and you, you seem like you genuinely enjoy what you do, and you enjoy the people that you work with, which is really nice to see, because... I do a lot of Christmas parties and I do a lot of corporate staff events and stuff. And a lot of times people, they don't, they hate their job or they hate the people they work with and they don't like their boss and they don't, you know, they're just not having fun. So it's really nice to come out and see you guys have a good time and laugh. I mean, I know nowhere, I've never, I mean this, I have never been to a Christmas party where they, where they willingly have an ugly Christmas sweater <laughs> competition and like it gets real, you know what I mean? Like you. You guys could have just said, yeah, everybody with a sweater, like, come up on stage. This one had rules, and then you had judges, you had a touchy one, and then you had, <laughs> you had the other one who, like, knew not to touch people. You know, that's, that's really nice. And you're so giving and nice. You let a, a guy with a black and, and yellow shirt, yeah, you go ahead, go ahead. And you cheered for him, and you cheered for him. You know, that's really nice. You were like, yeah, you, you don't care what day it is, I guess. You're like, beautiful, like, you're still welcome here. You didn't, a lot of people would have booed him out of the building. Told him, get off the stage, what are you even doing up there? But you're so nice that you didn't do that. That's what I love. I love that you have a president who left. Uh, ready to go? Oh, there he is, right there, sorry. <laughs> he was like, you know what, enough of this. My mom's gonna be here any second. I want to greet her. That's not her there at the door, is it? That's not her? She didn't no. That would have been uncomfortable. That would have been awkward if you were standing that close to her the whole time and she still didn't come greet you. That would have been unacceptable. <laughs> but I love that. I love, uh, I love that you have a president who greets his mother because that's somebody who actually thinks he's important. I love that you have a president who sat himself at table two instead of table one. He came in with a king's throne chair and said, I sit here now. I used to run the province, now I run the company, and now this is where I sit. Have you seen the suit? Beautiful. So that's amazing. I love it. Rob, you, you're a, an inspiration. You're a guy, that, you really are. You're a guy that, that went to his closet and said, I want to look fashionable, but I don't want to be cold, and he came up with that. And then you came here, and you, you're doing your thing, and that's great. I love, I love your tenacity and the fact that you want a job with this company and you went right to the HR table and you demanded that she give you water and at the end of this you're going to give her a resume and you're going to probably show up tomorrow just because in her office and say, I'm here for an interview and I'd like to work with that Rob guy who seems like a smart dude. Why wouldn't you? I love, sir, you. I love that you're confusing people out there with your name. That's got to be awesome. I love that you're doing things with your techniques out there, you're helping everybody around the world with all the techniques that they that they come to you and say, my technique is broken, and you fix that technique, and that's fantastic, I love that. Sir, to the three people who thought I was talking to them over here, I love all three of you, and I'm sorry to the one of you got so excited you tipped your water over into your lap, you were sitting there feeling like you pissed yourself this whole time, but you didn't, that's not the case. But Paolo, really, today is about you. I want you to know that. That's right, Paolo. Today is about you. As much as Rob is an inspiration, here's a guy who's doing three things by himself. 
He's out there with his standards, he's got his architecture and his quality assurance, but you are the guy who can handle that. They came to you and they put that on your lap and you said, I've got it. <laughs> Let me do this. You get out of my way, I don't need help. I got the offer of these things on lockdown. I'm gonna share quality from here on out. Get me some president, I will be vice president before the end of the year. Let us do this. So you did that and you walked away. You're a hero. You guys have been a lot of fun today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Great.